Salam alaikum. You're supposed to say alaikum salam, but whatever. Mm. What? <laughs> Did you expect some Egyptian accent? <laughs> Come on. We all saw what happened to Wakanda forever. I'm not gonna do the accent because I'm simply not able to, but come on. Now you came to me for positive affirmation. Is that correct? Why? Why would you think I would have anything to say that is positive about you? I mean, I don't know you. You, you definitely know me. No, I'm not naked. I know it looks like I am, but um, I'm wearing something very expensive. Uh, yes, I'm a princess. So like, uh, this is Chanel. <laughs> By the way, it's denim, but it's Chanel. It's, it is Chanel. Sorry. Uh, what was I saying? Yes. So positive affirmation. Let me think because I had something. I Right. You are alive right in this moment. And that is something that you should celebrate. You should celebrate life. What do you mean you're depressed? Right? I mean, it's like 2019, so everyone is depressed. Like, everyone on the internet is depressed. Well, that's depressing. Look, instead of being depressed, just choose not to be, like, just to be happy. <laughs> Why? You can't be happy. I mean, being depressed is such a foreign concept to me because I'm filthy rich. I'm a princess. Have I mentioned that I am a princess? Yes. So, like, man want to marry me because of my money and I'm only willing to marry someone who's super super rich so it's like that's all I care about so I don't know anything about depression and the possible struggles that one could have in their life now talking about that I actually met this guy his name is Aladdin and he's like super super rich I mean I mean, he looked like a prince. I mean, he was rich enough to impress a princess. That's how rich he was. He had, like, elephants. He had, you know, jewels. He had gold. He had, he had anything a girl could want. I mean, a princess could want. So, yeah. I was just contemplating the fact that it's so easy for me to find a suitor. Mm, well, I don't know. If you're depressed, why don't you go to the cinema. Yeah, go to the movies. Oh, I heard, I heard. They're making a movie about me. <laughs> well, I'm not the actual main character because to be honest, I'm kind of like useless in the story. Like at no point do I actually help the main character. I'm just here to be like basically married and impressed. <laughs> That's my whole purpose. So. Oh, I know when people are like super like... <laughs> anal about the fact that the main actress who was casted to play myself is not um, Egyptian and I'm like yeah, I don't care I mean yeah, I, I really don't care should I care? I don't know, am I even gonna see that movie? I'm probably gonna see I'm probably gonna stream it, see like, I'm not gonna spend my precious money I mean, I'm rich, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the movie because that shit is like expensive and the IMAX like what the hell it's like $30 to go to that and for what? <laughs> giant screen? oh my god I have like 5 giant screen in my palace so I don't need to pay to go to the IMAX and what were we talking about again? oh yeah right positive affirmation positive affirmation hmm let me Well, you're not bad looking. You're actually pretty decent. I mean, you have one nose, two eyes, a mouth. You're not on the branch of starvation, which is 
not something I can say of like pretty much 80% of the population that uh, worships me <laughs> like my peasants they're like half dying I mean our civilization is like thriving but you know the little people <laughs> the, how do you call them how do you call them the, the pleb <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're dying they don't have money they don't have food so so the rich like myself can thrive so you know just think about other people who are like actually dying of hunger and then reconsider your own depression because i feel like your depression is not justified why are you depressed because what you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend Boo. look ultimately you'll find someone because you know what ultimately people get married out of like obligation like you think it's gonna be love and stuff no 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 honey no love like doesn't exist like it exists when you're like in high school and you're like you're, you have a crush but then you date people and you realize that actually people will like marry you for the money like people will marry you for convenience i got used to that idea that's why i have no problem with marrying a guy just based on his you know bank account yeah but you know, on the other hand you better you know give up the idea of marrying uh, for love or even dating for love because let's be honest like what do you think people care about they care about looks first of all so like if you don't look like an instagram model like just <laughs> expect to be landing someone who's as hot or less hot than you now like if you want some i don't know ryan gosling or uh what's his name jason momoa kind of guy that's not gonna happen for you no, 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 I know. We look at the stars, we look at the celebrities, and we're like, oh, I want to live like them. But that's that's never going to happen. It's so like, just, just let that sink in. Like, just remember that people are going to judge you on your, ba on your physical appearance and on your bank account. And eventually, you'll find someone. It's all about, like, you know, content yourself with what you can basically get. <laughs> I mean, what do you want me to do about it? You want me to sing a whole new word? <laughs> Come on. You've passed that age. Don't be ridiculous. I mean, it's time to grow up and face a reality that people are just, you know, self-obsessed <laughs> pricks. But, you know, everything is not perfect. And you have to basically be in peace with the fact that first, <laughs> you're never going to be a princess like myself. And secondly, well, you're probably ne never gonna marry a prince. I mean, it could happen, but hello, this is not a Korean drama. Like, this is not a Disney movie. This is real life we're talking about. Like, the chances of you marrying a prince are, like, close to 0%. So, yeah, all I'm saying is you have to basically content yourself with your situation. Otherwise, you'll be unhappy forever. You wouldn't want that, right? So, about positive affirmation, I don't know if that counts as positive affirmation, but what I have to say is just like, you know, get over the fact that you're never gonna be, like, um, rich. Get over the fact that you're never gonna be a model. Get over the fact that you're never going to be a celebrity. And like, I mean, yes, there's a 1% chance that either of these things all would actually happen, but let's not bet on it because, you know, that would mean a lifetime of mm. hope for nothing. So, yeah. What else? What else? What else? I'm sorry, I'm like so self observed. Like, it's very hard for me to, like, concentrate on another human being but then again i'm rich i'm famous i'm royalty like what do you expect of me this oh thank you my hair is amazing you know it took like three hairdressers for it to look, to look like that like oh, no <laughs> honey that is not natural beauty that is all fake um yeah of course i did i had stuff done i mean like do you think my nose is real like Come on, let's just be honest, well, well, you, I feel like you should, like, 
stop comparing yourself to other people because otherwise you're just going to be very very upset and like it is hard to come to terms with the fact that you're never gonna be like the best at basically anything because there's always gonna be someone in the world who is going to be best at that particular thing than you but um I mean, yes, you should definitely stop comparing yourself to other people and you should stop asking random people for advice because, you know, look at me, I'm a bitch, like, people are not nice, people are not here to help you, people are here to, like, help themselves and bring you down, so, yeah, remember that, I know, I'm not particularly nice, but, you know, Disney kind of, like, sold this version of me as, like, the nice princess who's waiting to be rescued and impressed with money and like in reality like i need no rescue like i have enough money the, the only reason i want to marry someone who has as much money as i do is because you know i want to be with someone who shares my value who's like within my circle of like richness and like and like, if I marry someone who's poor, basically we're never gonna understand each other because we come from different, different families with different values. So there's basically no chance of us ever, like ever, understanding each other. So yeah, that's basically why I'm gonna marry this rich dude, Aladdin. Cute name. I wonder if he's from like a very well-known family. Like I, I only have his first name. I don't it sounds promising, you know, like, we live in a time where there's no, like, social media, so, like, it's kind of hard to check who he is, like, he could, like, come out of nowhere and, like, have, like, just, like, basically gotten rich from one day to another and be, like, nobody, but I would have no way to know because, like, there's no Facebook, there's no Instagram, there's no Twitter, so there's no way to actually recognize people in the street, like, like, I could be walking around dressed as a peasant and no one would know who I am. I mean, they would certainly think that I look really beautiful, but would they know I'm Princess Jasmine? I don't think so. Anyway, um, I'm not sure what I can say, uh, except that, like, try to eat three meals a day. Don't, you know, kill yourself over being average. Just come to terms with it. Like... <laughs> The majority of people is average so you're just in the norm and you know that's just a sad truth you know now uh, I'm gonna go because like I have this um, appointment um, yes manicure uh, I want to be perfectly ready because tonight I'm seeing Aladdin again he told me something about like some flying carpet or whatever and I'm like that's probably code for like let's get high and uh, I really want to get high so I need to look perfect and uh, yeah for that uh, flying carpet date or whatever yeah <laughs> right uh, so I guess thank you for coming to me for advice I'm sorry if I sounded a bit like Kardashian-esque to you or like a bit I don't know but you know I'm a rich princess so what did you expect I'm just superficial and self-centered now if you're unhappy maybe you should go back to watching the Disney movie <laughs> maybe that's something that you would that would be more to your standards and expectations so yeah uh, bye